have traction alopecia. It's out, real exposing myself right now, really vulnerable right now, okay? Appreciate it, cause, uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kenji Nicole here with a brand new video on basically you guys saw the title with you know I'm gonna be exposing myself a little bit on my journey with traction alopecia. I was nervous at first I was like, oh my god. No, I don't want to be exposing myself like that I was trying to hide it I was trying to keep it to myself and just go through this by myself But I thought about you know the greater goods and the bigger picture, you know, this can be helpful you know, a helpful experimental journey for myself as well as anyone else watching who's also going through this. So if you're new here, if you came through because you're interested in what's about to go on on this channel, you know, make sure to like to help boost this video to reach more people. You never know. Subscribe and comment down below so we can get to know each other. And if you're returning, it's always nice to see you guys. Oh. I appreciate my day ones as well as my newcomers y'all are helping me grow and we're growing together on this journey so let's go over this hair like guys <laughs> that better length sent me let's go over the little you know details in this first part on how to how I installed it why I'm installing it my reason behind choosing this option as I'm dealing with my traction alopecia journey and yeah this is definitely, I think, from Thursday or Friday till now, and compliments a la max. Get familiar, because this is just the first part out of four, so I hope you guys are here for all, all of them. And I think that's all I'm going to be rambling about, because I ramble a lot. So, so basically, this is 2017, my 25th birthday hairstyle, and I noticed, yo, the right side of my head is yammed off, like, no edges. I lost some footage from 2018, but we're back 2019 till present day. These are some pictures that I just have um, just to document how it looked like termites went in the back of my head and yam out my head. Um, I was pretty negligent in taking, like, being disciplined and taking care of it until I was just like, no, like, this is making me very self-conscious. I had cut my hair twice and maybe try to, like, you know, it will regrow back and these patches will disappear. It didn't. Finally went to a dermatologist. She was like, nah, sis, you got to stop. You got traction alopecia. You got to stop with the tight hairstyles. And I resorted to wigs. Now, fast forward, you see it's getting a little bit better. Fast forward to now, 2022, my hair has grown back. But as you guys can see, going through, like, if I part my hair out, you do said there is, like, wider spaces, and it's, like, kind of balding, and traction alopecia really thinks it's going to conquer, but it's not because nowadays I'm more well-disciplined where I'm oiling my scalp more. I don't wear any hair um, tight hairstyles unless I'm doing a low bun, and even at that, I don't put much... Um, tension on my scalp when I'm doing this I tie my hair down every single night I don't play because like I said I was getting I was becoming very conscious and I'm just like no like I don't want to be going through this but traction alopecia it's it's reversible if it's caught on time and after a while I was like you know what let me try something different I want to give my hair a break from wigs and everything else so I reached out to better length who are this videos and the next three parts videos sponsored be sure to look out for the discount code down below that they gave to me to offer to you guys at your checkout website at www.betterlength.com which better length they are specialized in textured hair for black women okay so i reached out to them i told them you know the issues i'm you know going through and asked them would they like to collaborate and i'll produce these videos and they're like yeah let's do it so basically the hair that I got, you guys can see, this is not even fully done, but like, look how well it blends. I got two, they sent me two bundles, 16 inches in their Afro Kinky Curly Textured Hair in the 4B4C. Each bundle comes with 100 licks. They also send the microbeads that you'll be putting the links through. I have my own clamp and my own like crochet hook that I put the beads on before installing it. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I had took a course back in March um, to be certified to do this professionally. So pretty much, I washed my hair. I made sure my hair was clean before doing this installation. And I'm just parting out the back of my hair, the side of my hair, and the front of my hair. This will help with making it look flawless and making it look like it's actually mine when I do decide to put my hair in two, in one, half up, half down, if I want to braid it back. Whatever I want to do is going to look like it is mine. Now, a little back history on traction alopecia, if, if you aren't too familiar. It is not a medical um, diagnosis. 
It's not like the other alopecias, which there are three. There's alopecia aritia, arita. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm so sorry. There's alopecia totalis and there's alopecia universalis. Those ones are more um, due to medical issues, autoimmune diseases, and it could also be hereditary. Traction alopecia that I have, it is none of the above. It's pretty much just, you know, I was doing like some foolishness, you know, doing some tight hairstyles. Um, and I know that this is caused because of me, because no one else in my family I know of has this. Um, and I know at the beginning of like 2016, 2017, when I really got into my like natural bag, my natural hair bag, and I wanted to try like every single hairstyle, I wasn't really, um, focused on my grip. So I know like I really gripped really tightly and that caused the loss of my hair in certain areas. Anyway, so back to this part now of the installation that I'm doing. I'm pretty much just parting out my hair like if I'm about to do single braids, as I kind of like to refer it to as. And once I single them out, I take the hook with the beads on it and I'm just feeding it into my hair. I wish my camera was at a better angle to really like, you know, show you in depth. But you're just going to put the hair, like I just put the hair through the middle of the hook. I pull the bead up onto my hair and I pull the hook down and voila, the bead is on my hair like magic, 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 magic. Um, and again, like, I'm just going to show you guys once the, once, like this is before the extension is in, but I'm just showing like how it's going to be able to still move so freely, which I really like. And, um, and yeah, so I just continue that on and then I'm going to get to installing the extensions. Now I'm just going to go back to what traction alopecia is again. It can be reversible if, if it is caught on time. There are treatments that you can take for it. I remember when I went to the dermatologist, the doctor that I saw, she recommended a cream. I didn't bother looking to get a cream because I knew I wanted to take a different route. I knew I wanted to like stick to something else that I'm more comfortable with. However, if down the line I have to resort to that, I will. But I'm hoping by that time that this issue will be resolved, especially if this solution could be one of the solutions to help with traction alopecia for myself and maybe anyone else Um that are curious and speak to their professional advisor in the medical field, right? Um, so yeah, so I basically decided to do these micro links because again, like I just want to give my hair a break. I love the option that I didn't have to change my hair texture in order to have the, the um, extension install as we're so accustomed to uh, most of us with this type of hair texture. You know, if you want to go for a different look, sometimes we have to like um, either change our hair texture to mimic the hair extension. So I'm really pleased and happy that I didn't have to do that with this. I have the freedom to not, you know, pull because I don't want I just wanted something where I don't have to do much. Okay. Um, it's also, I want to also mention that micro links is not a protective style are like my ends are still going to be out. So what, what's getting protected? Nothing. However, at nighttime, I still do braid down the extensions with my hair, like if it was just like my natural hair out, as I normally would do with my natural hair. I put my bonnet on, you know, some nights I will oil my scalp before braiding it down and putting my bonnet down. And I just like that I'm able to still treat it like mine. While I'm clamping the extensions in as well, um... It looks like I'm clamping it pretty hard, but I'm really not because I don't want these, I don't want the links to be stuck. I don't want the beads, especially, to um, get stuck in my hair. So I give it like a one nice clamp and then a like two more like not so hard as the first one type clamps. So it's easier to remove, which I'll be making. The last video will be taking it out and it's very simple. This style from wash to separating, like to removing the hair on my parameter, to installing it, it took me about like less than five hours to do, um, which I was very surprised. I thought it would take me longer, especially like the fact that I'm recording and I'm trying to like make sure I get all the angles and everything. Like whoever is a YouTuber or like makes content, y'all already know what it is, but I was really surprised that it didn't um, interfere with the timing of the installation process. Um, so that was a great thing as well. Um, I'm trying to see like how I feel with traction alopecia. If I didn't mention to you guys, I pretty much chose to do this because I wanted two things out of this hairstyle. For one, my main one was besides like not having to like touch up my hair too much and just leaving it in its natural state. I wanted my hair to be more voluminous, especially on my right side, which is where 
I notice attraction and alopecia to be more um, visible on or more like where it's really at on my head, on my scalp. And, you know, when I wear my hair in certain styles, you could automatically tell that, you know, I'm missing more hair. I'm missing the density on that side. So I definitely wanted more volume and I had cut my hair last year. So I also wanted to add some length for the summertime just to give me like a different type of look until my hair like really grows out. So there's like two two reasons besides my main first reason why I chose this um, route. Um, I feel way more confident these past few weeks with this hair extension and I'm not going to lie. I'm not worried about, oh my God, could you like see through my right side when my hair is down? Because no, everything is just full. Um, the hair still feels very soft. I did put products in it a few times and it doesn't feel weird. Like it doesn't give off like, like sticky, icky, I don't know how to explain it, but y'all know what I mean. It doesn't give that at all. It's really giving like my natural hair wherever I go. People are just like, oh my God, like I love your hair, girl. And you know, I was going to finesse. I ain't going to lie. I was going to finesse and be like, oh my God, thank you. But I was just like, listen, nah, like... I'm going to be real with y'all, like, this ain't my hair, sis. This is extensions, and y'all going to know because the videos are going to be up very shortly as I take you guys on this journey with me. So I I'm not going to finesse this time. <laughs> I'm not going to finesse. So um, I really like that result that people actually think that it's mine. It's hard to detect that it's not my hair. Um, I feel, as I said, I feel way more confident. Um, I'm able to, you know have something that I always wanted, which is, like, the volume part, guys, so, um, I'm trying to see what else I need to add in here, yeah, basically, like, I also wanted to just see, like, can this be an option for myself, and, you know, anyone else looking for an option who has traction on alopecia and just wants to give their hair a break, but feel confident, feel their best, um, with their natural hair, just adding a little bit of extensions to, like, you know, fulfill everything, so, again, like, this is not, like, I'm not a medical advisor, I'm not a doctor, any of this, any of that kind of, you know, jazz. I just really wanted to come on here, be transparent with you guys, share with you guys a little bit of what I've been going through um, with my hair loss, and hoping that this solution can be a solution down the line for myself and for others. So, thank you once again, Better Length, for helping me. Um be transparent and opening that door for me to be transparent um, on my channel with these extensions. I can't wait to do the other three parts for you guys. I hope you guys stay tuned right until the end because this is a journey that we'll be taking together. And I'm going to be done talking now because I feel like I covered everything. The rest of the video is just me installing it um, on myself and then showing you guys what it looks like when it's like wet and how well it blends in my hair. Um, and then the next video will be me styling it. If you guys have any um, ideas, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll try to do that for you guys if you guys want to see how the different ways it can be styled. And don't forget to check out betterlength.com. Also, I have a code that they gave me so you guys can use it on your way checking out on their website. I'll also have a direct link to the extensions that I'm installing in my hair. And as per usual, boo, stay blessed, stay safe, and thank you guys so much for supporting me. Ciao.
Promise you got your eyes Got your trippy on them private dress Taking trips, come back at six Wake me and your child And it won't lay today Make me wonder who you might have been Playing with makes me wonder who you think you're playing with I'm just a myself to keep playing this I turn back over and over again Sweat change but I notice the end I want you on the scene Think you know your girl's so funny to me That's why you think I left but what a time Got tired of you, shit you on my Got tired of your shit, you almost threw my mind